Azure API Management enables developers to deploy to an API gateway for APIs hosted in Microsoft Azure and other cloud platforms. Once connected to Azure API Management, you can view your API deployment status and history from within Postman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy to the Azure API Gateway from Postman. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and first import the services that we might be interested in, as well as the APIs. To do this, I'm going to click on a service that I'd like to work with. So here I'll click on this service and I'll take a look at some of the APIs that I'd like to import into Postman and then use that as my boilerplate to then deploy new versions. So I'm going to take a look at this API And I can go ahead and click on export and I can export this directly to Postman within Microsoft Azure. I'm going to go ahead and click on Postman for web. And this will let me find the workspace that I'm interested in importing that API into. And you should be able to see that now my API is imported. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and deploy any new version of this API, I can take a look at index.json. I can make any changes to this specific API. Once I've made the required changes, I can click on deployments and deploy those changes to my Azure service. So this allows me to connect to my API gateway directly and view my deployment status and deploy my APIs directly from Postman. Here I'm going to go ahead and click on Microsoft Azure and it will allow me to authorize again to my account. Once authorized, I can set up my service by selecting my subscription, uh, the resource group that I am working with, the service, as well as the API version that I'm working with. I can import a definition which will replace the definition I currently have, but if I wanted to import any changes, I can always do that later. Here I have my service connected, and you can go ahead and click on the service that you're interested in, and you can see some of the history of previous re revisions that have happened to this particular service. If I wanted to make any changes and export that out to Azure, I could go ahead and click on Export API. I can select my definition source and then enter a description which will describe some changes. Here I'm going to just create a description that says V1 which shows that this might be my ver first version change. And if I had any definitions, if I had any existing revisions, I can always click on that to export to a specific revision. I'm going to go ahead and click on export. And once I click on export, you can see that my definition has now been exported. You can see that I was able to make this revision change, and you can also see the export history of that specific revision. If I go back to my Microsoft Azure, I'm able to see the changes of that API if I take a look at revisions, and I can see that that specific version of that revision was exported at, at that time. If I wanted to make any changes to the change log, I need to make a revision current. The change log shows the deployment history for my API, and I can use the current toggle to make a revision current for my API. I can add an optional description, which will then set the date and time of when that API was set as current. That way, my consumers can now access that revision when calling that API. Overall, this allows you to stay on top of your deployments and make any changes 
and stay connected with Azure on both the importing side as well as the exporting side and stay on top of any historical changes that you make to your APIs within Postman.